public, um, the public has invested in, I'm not too sure, the, the, the public invest in, uh, in the system because the system is about winning the election. Mm -hmm. The system is not what we're going to do, yeah, what is the, the political thinking of the mm -hmm. society. The, the, the system doesn't get any further than when is the next election mm -hmm. and how are we going to win the next election. And you drop some kind of manifesto or some mm -hmm. kind of thing, mm -hmm. but the, the issue really is, is winning the yeah. next election. So you're going to have, and, and, and it's about the party. It's about the party. It's not about the particular policy. It's about the winning policy. Right, right. It's about the party winning the next election. And it seems to me that uh, you might only be able to introduce thinking into the political culture mm -hmm. uh, if somehow the party is removed from the electoral process altogether. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you say uh, that no, no candidate should be allowed to contest an election as a member of or on behalf of a, a political party. And that really is not too far away. If you would note that in the constitution of Barbados, there is no mention, the, of of, there's no reference to party yeah. in the constitution. So there's a sense in which uh, when you, 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 you may say you're this party and so on, but from the constitution's point of view, yeah, you're just an individual candidate and so on going out. And I think we should go back as near as possible we can to, uh, to, that idea. to the constitution on that matter. Now, you, you, I think you want to ask if that is so, if you got rid of the parties, and that's going to be very difficult. Because if there's one thing that will bring the parties together is the threat to get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you say we're going to put an end to the, the parties, parties the parties will come B together. B and D will hug one another as they never hugged one another before. Yes, <laughs> you yeah. can't anything except getting rid of us. Yeah. But I think that there is an alternative that would have to be thought through. Mm -hmm. You may have to work on a, uh, a generation that is not yet voting and so on for it. And it is that um, um, you have elections, mm -hmm. but no party. So how you do it, then, then in Jamaica there was a group of scholars some many years ago who were thinking it's because they got so disturbed yes. by the murderous violence that had entered mm -hmm. into the party. The party tribalism in Jamaica had got out of all control. It had been encouraged by the party leaders, and then they created a monster which they really couldn't yeah, control. contain. And, that was a, and there were some people who said, we have to try and get out of this. We can't go on in this. And they did. Um, I tried to find that document. Uh, um, not, I mean, the one was by Professor Hall. He's not alive anymore. There were four people. There was a Professor Hall. Um, there was a, a social science uh, professor, I think Roy Auger was mm -hmm. among them, it was M.G. Smith, the anthropologist. Right? And um, they came up with an idea of what, it's a very interesting idea that I remember it, um, that what you did was, um, if you could sort of divide up the, the like we have the parishes, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, you, you had the society divided up um, according to population, into zones, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. zone A, zone B, zone C, and That's so on. Right. Now, zone may make up uh, St. Lucie, St. Andrew, St. Peter, or something, mm -hmm. that may be mm -hmm. one zone. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, the parish is a, another mm -hmm. zone. Mm -hmm. But all really worked out on what population you have. Mm -hmm. And then in these zones, um, you establish um, councils. Mm -hmm that you would have, that you established first of all communities. Right. There would be a community in the zone, there may be four, mm -hmm. three or four communities uh, in the zone. zone. Now the key factor mm -hmm. to the voting will be the community. Mm -hmm. So that you're going to have for an election more than one set of voting. You will have at, at one level, there's where the zones are voting to put up who will be the 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 committee of this or the council mm -hmm. of this committee and so on. 
So zone A has X number of things, zone mm -hmm. B has X number, zone B, and this is the, co the, 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 the community establishing its councils. Right. That's one stage. And then you have a further election between the, the, councils. the councils of the different, different zones. Yes. So always everything has come from the community, the community yeah. council, mm -hmm. and councils of the different zones. Mm -hmm. And then that election decides who will council. be at the national level council. and so on. Mm -hmm. No party is in that. No party is in that. They're only going out as the coming out, first of all, as the, the vote to, to create the council, mm -hmm. the vote to create that mm -hmm. committee that goes into national. the parliament. Yeah. Now, when they get into the parliament, everybody in there it get, goes in there as an independent. Nobody has any party. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All that party has come from is from the community. The community is the decisive factor, yeah. and through that council and so on. But they don't have any party. They don't have no party at all. They may represent a, a, the community and so on through that vote, mm -hmm. but no party. Mm -hmm. So they're there. Let's say there are thirty of them in there and so on. There's no party about which party is going to be in power. No right, party right, at all. Right. What do you do then? You give them X hours or something secretly. Mm -hmm. uh, they go and discuss among themselves who among them they think should be the, the prime minister. Okay. <laughs> who among them? And, and they will go and they will, they will you, whatever period of time. Mm -hmm. They may get together. They're allowed to get together. Three and four may get together mm -hmm. to go for B. Three and four may get together. Because that C. will happen. And well, that will happen. <laughs> yeah. But they agree to that. Yeah. They agree to that. What is not happening is that they're not doing this on about any party. Yeah. They obviously will, will be inclined to do this on mm -hmm. how they see this in terms of the record, reputation, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so on mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. A or B mm -hmm. or C. Right. Okay. So they reach. A, uh, 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 they, they, they come back and they, are, they have reached a, a, a verdict uh, of that if a majority had come mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. with B, mm -hmm. they would think that among us, we yeah, will be, be the prime minister with mm -hmm. B mm -hmm. as the prime minister. And B then decides who would be his cabinet. B is free then to say his cabinet will be made up. And but at no stage yeah. has he, under the constraints or the influence of anything, what he always has to be thinking of is the community that started the elections. Mm -hmm. But at no stage is he concerned about the, the party and party. his party and the party and who, who belongs to what. But in fact, nobody can have any allegiance in that. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. that that's the possible alternative. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, you would really have to have discussions among people of how not yes, because it's done, but how mm. they they uh, would do it. Yeah, I was very interesting when something came up recently uh, in which I don't know which party, but it, it's going on and uh, about con constituency council. Oh, the DLP, the DLP, in which which part of the idea of the, yes, the, the constituency the, the only council. The only I have with that is that the idea of the council, the, uh, I assume that you're mobilizing people to find out what do you want for where we are? Except so, that it's a constituency. It, it's a constituency, it's not a community. A party. It's yeah. not a community. Yes. If, it, they don't the overlap. Idea, if you could switch from the constituency, which makes it a, 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 a party, party thing, 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 to the yeah. concept of the community, yeah. in which when the community council meets, Wherever you belong, you're, you're in, once you belong to that, mm -hmm. to that community, you're in there. Mm -hmm. they, they, they were moving in a direction of somehow getting people uh, from the ground in mm -hmm. some kind of participatory mm -hmm. you know, control uh, yeah. of their daily lives. Yeah. So. But it's an attempt to graft something that has possibilities onto an existing structure that is dysfunctional. It will, and, and, and it will be what, what, what you would expect the, the, uh, the community to do, to, to identify, uh, the community would also identify people who would be able to have uh, programs in political education, because this, mm -hmm. is, this, is, this is fundamental. I mean, mm -hmm. people should understand what it is they're yeah, doing, they do. when they, what does politics really mean. Mm -hmm. uh, um, 
they should have some conception of mm -hmm. the different kinds of society that you could establish. Um, uh, they should have some conception of what what would be the nature and power of the state. Mm -hmm. um, how do you deal with the question of property? Okay. You know, I mean, is it society in which you are, you are free to own as much as you can if you have the kind of money to own it uh, and so on? Or er, is it a society in which the state has the authority to Just say uh, who can own what and who can all this is part of political education. Right, Children right. may then look at how this works in a variety of Places. democracies mm -hmm. or, or, or non-democracies mm -hmm. and so on. Okay. Uh, but the political school, in the sense, not just the building, mm -hmm. but, but the community would have schools in, in which uh, uh, people are having discussions and so on mm -hmm. about a variety of topics that okay. have to do uh, with the nature and the meaning okay. of, of politics. Okay, well, I see, I, I imagine art, literature, takes part of that role of doing the political education. So I, what I want to turn to, a little, a little away from the, the question of politics, party politics, national politics, to go to the theme of art for art's sake, especially since, since art is going to be doing, is presently attempting to do some of that kind of political education. So what I want to ask um, um, this particular angle is, are there dangers in state sponsorship of art? For example, like sponsorship of a Frank Cullum Literary Endowment Award or that kind of state sponsorship, a national cultural foundation that is responsible for, for promoting art. What would you say about that kind of political education that comes out of art and the states attempting to sponsor that activity? Well, let's begin first of all by, by seeing if we can work out what art is about. Okay. That, that, that's the first thing. And if we could correct what uh, I think is a very serious uh, and deliberate mm -hmm. sort of misconception. Uh, it comes, I mean, when you speak about the art for art, right. Say, right. and so on. Um, the definition of art is that it's a, it's, a, it's a particular form of very subjective expression. Um, and uh, uh, art originally means creation. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 so that you're actually uh, imagining and, and making visible uh, some world that was not conceivable to the viewer until you made that word visible. So there's this very close connection between art would not be possible without the imagination. Right. Because there's some faculty that is going outside, you know, of, of the obvious and the visible and, and creating. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I may start, you, you may be doing just a portrait of B. But when you have finished the portrait, yeah. there's something the, of the portrait that a lot of people are saying, well, I didn't see that side of me. I, 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 I'm not too sure that is yeah. B. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not too. And be, because what B is only the occasion right. for which the artist now images mm -hmm. a, a conception uh, um, of B to begin with. So art begins uh, as a, a, a creation of uh, it of of the uh, of using the raw materials that it encounters that the artist encounters and then creating worlds that are making uh, visible mm -hmm. uh, uh, worlds that were not uh, before conceivable. Now the the flaw that I am saying that we've come I, I, I have a thing in the mm -hmm. in the last issue been uh, because I wanted to clarify this about the art and the politics. Mm -hmm. We have been trained uh, deliberately by institutions over a long period of time that um, there's, there's no connection between these two and that these two are um, should not. I just want to read the, the forward that I, I wrote on this. Mm -hmm. I think very strongly about this. There's always been 
a function of Western bourgeois tutelage, that there should be a fundamental disconnect between the political and the aesthetic. We may recall Sandal's abrasive observation that to raise politics in the novel was like releasing the pistol at the opera. Sandal thought it nonsense. Mm -hmm. It is a perversion and a very perverse diversion of reality, this is my view, for it denies the profound affiliation of the political to the aesthetic. I do not think that there is any break at all between the political and the aesthetic, and this is the reason I don't think it. Politics is the way we organize our social life, which means it is a human commitment to impose or restore order and equilibrium to the antagonisms inherent in all social relations. That is, mm -hmm. politics mm -hmm. is always aiming to how do you stabilize mm -hmm. these contradictions in the society. Mm -hmm. Order and equilibrium are the raison d'etre of the political in much the same way that art is the role the imagination plays in making visible that which is only conceivable. By negotiating a symmetrical ordering of the bewildering fragments which constitute the remotest zones of private feeling. That is, in a way, they're both concerned with how do we restore, uh, uh, restore or impose order. order on the fragmentation of the yeah. life that we're looking at. You're writing a thing about a character. Yeah. A character is, and you, you want to present something that is whole and that is very coherent. Mm -hmm. But you know the day-to-day -day behavior of this person is far from whole and far from coherent. How do you organize these incoherencies into a coherent totality that say right. yes, Right. With all the contradiction, I recognize. Right. I recognize B. That is what art is trying to do. Mm -hmm. All the, the inherent antagonisms of the society's conflict of interest and so on. The political thing is trying to see how do I reconcile? I have to kill some of them. The only way to reconcile may be to have to get rid of, if you yeah. want to put it more mildly. Right. They disappear. They're using disappear now as a, as a kind of verb. <laughs> They disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> it's a verb. They disappeared some to people. To disappear. Uh, they disappeared <laughs> some people. But the, the idea is, is for that, uh, that order and that stability. So I'm saying that there is that, that affiliation. That. They are bound in, in that way. And then I think a negation of the political is a certain death of the aesthetic. Just as any eclipse of the aesthetic anesthetizes the vitality of the political culture. We may, of course, live this truth without being aware that the uh, invisible nurture which keeps alive the biological need for freedom. Uh, I, I, the point I'm trying to make is that separation of the political from the aesthetic, no. I think, is a deliberate misconception. And the reason is that people who control a situation do not want you to meddle too much in any political thing. Although, every day, you are dealing politically. I mean, if you teach, whatever you do, whatever work you do, right. I mean, you're asking yourself uh, questions of, should I do this or should I do that? Should I choose A or should I choose B? Okay, uh, would it be in our interest or my interest, which I always assume will be the interest of the others and so on, to exclude this and to, these, these decisions, are of a political, political nature mm -hmm. in the sense that you're looking to see how can you stabilize the situation and but do it also to your advantage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is exactly what the artist is also trying to do. I don't see any activity at any time that is not really political in character, political in mm -hmm. essence. Every day people are deciding whether I gonna buy this from B or whether I gonna buy it from C. And why do I decide to choose C rather than B when I'm buying? Political. It may not only be the price, there may be a whole other set of things mm -hmm. that make me go that way. That we are every day um, deciding how we are going to organize mm -hmm. our social relations. And that, that is, to me, the definition of, of politics.